Hello and welcome to a new week, new flow. And today's intention or this week's intention is coming into this idea or tuning into this idea that when we are persistent, we get it, but when we are consistent, we keep it. And that can apply on your map, whether you're working towards a pose. Sometimes we get really worked up, really excited to get to the pose. So we're persistent, persistent, we get to the pose. And then we kind of let go and you stop being consistent about it. So maybe finding consistency on your mat as you move today or taking it off your mat as well. Whatever you're working on in your personal life right now, just knowing, yes, persistence gets us, gets us there, but really it's consistency that allows us to stay where we are, to maintain where we are. So maybe take this idea with you, maybe work with your own intention, but let's go ahead and get started just an easy pose. So cross the ankles, just like kind of where you are, move any fleshiness from underneath you. We're going to close the eyes and roll the shoulders up towards the ears, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Exhale, roll your shoulders down. Let's do that again, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And roll the shoulders back and down. And then just hold right here. Take another full breath in from the nose. Open breath out. Let's do that again. Think of it as a cleansing breath. So taking in wherever you are in your day. And open mouth, exhale to just let it go. Blink open your eyes. Bring your hands behind your back and interlace all 10 fingers together. So from here, we're gonna bring the hands over towards the uh, left side of our body. Just hook it to your side body. Take a full breath in. And then on the exhale, just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Hold, we're here for two breaths. One more time. and bring your head back up, chin stays tucked in. Release the hands and bring them over to the opposite side. Same idea, hooking it over to your side body. Take a breath in and exhale, draw up your left ear, left shoulder. Try to relax the shoulder down, two breaths here. and then release the hands, bring your chin back to center. Release the hands from behind your back, take an inhale, reach your arms all the way up. From here, just relax, let's change up the legs just to find some symmetry. So coming back to that easy pose, just crossing the ankles in the opposite direction, shoulders down your back, take a breath here. Exhale, drop over your right hand, take your left hand up and over. Keep the shoulder plugged down. Inhale, length. Exhale, a little depth. Soften your right elbow. Take it back up and opposite side, please. Same idea, shoulder stays plugged down, breathing in for length, holding on for depth. Beautiful, and bring it back up, hands all the way up towards the sky. Bring your palms together. Let the thumbs meet to the nape of your neck, keep your elbows tucked in. Take a full breath here, and just an openness in your chest. We're not going back, but maybe look up. Just opening up for three. Nice. Here for two. One more breath. And then on one, tuck your chin and reach your arms all the way up. Release the hands and then release the legs. Stretch them out towards the front of the room. And from here, again, just a little bit of softening, a little bit of movement through your heels, your knees. Move any fleshiness from underneath you. Flex your feet for a moment, but bend your knees. We're going to take a deep breath in. And exhale, reach up and over. So try to keep your back nice and long. Even if you're hinging forward, there's no roundness. There's a lift, there's a length. So from here, even if you're not reaching your toes, maybe grabbing the ankles, so okay with that. Take a full breath in. Soften the elbows, full breath out. Beautiful, and then come back up. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. Release them behind you. Bring your hands behind your back. Fingertips facing the front of the room. Roll your shoulders away from your chest. And then from here, two options. You can press up to reverse plank. If you're feeling okay in the shoulders, soften the elbows, lift up the chest, or you can separate the legs and coming into a reverse bridge. 
lifting up order versus tabletop for three. Nice. Here for two. And then on one, drop your hips down, cross your ankles, plant your palms, and transition to a nice tabletop, bringing your palms underneath your shoulders, knees, hip width distance. So feel free to move around, shake that out. And then inhale for cow pose, drop the belly. Open up the chest. Exhale, cat pose. Exaggerate, tuck your chin in, push your mat away. Two more times, please. Last time. Keep the roundness in your back. Drop your hips over towards the left heel. Nice, walk your hands over to the right, head down, forehead close to the earth, left hand stacks on top of the right. Pull your shoulders back, breath in, breath out. Nice, and then bring it back up. Let's do one more time of cow pose, drop the belly, biggest one here to exaggerate through your front chest, front line of the body, getting a deep stretch. And then exhale, cat pose, tuck your chin in. Drop your hips over towards the right heel. Walk your hands over towards the left. Drop the head down, forehead down. And then the right hand goes on top of your left. Shoulders track back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Amazing. Bring it back up. Arms all the way to tabletop. And then spin your fingertips to face your thighs. Just one breath in. And hinge back for the breath out. Beautiful, shift the back forward, flip your fingertips towards the front of the room, and then take another inhale here. On the exhale, tuck your toes. Inhale, pick up your knees, just an inch or two off the earth. Soften your elbows. Say hello to your core, lengthen the crown of your head. Here for four, here for three, two, and then transition, exhale, downward facing dog. Press your hips up high, pull your shoulders away from your ears, please. A little bit of a pedal, Right knee, left knee, keeping the shoulders back. Finding maybe some movement that feels right for you. When you're ready, keep the shoulders back. Keep your heels just tracking towards the earth. It doesn't matter how close they get. And then maybe a tiny bend in the knees and drop your chest closer to your thighs. Make sure your ears and your biceps are on the same line. Take another breath. Push your hips up. Amazing. Shift forward, high plank, and then maybe adjust a little bit through your legs. Soften the elbows. Crown of your head pushes forward. Heels push back. We're holding here for four. Nice. Here for three. Breath in two. Shift forward and lower to your belly. Exhale on one. Nice. Legs come together. Push down. Toss of the feet. Inhale. Tuck the chin in. Lift up the chest. Cobra pose, knees off the earth, little to no weight in your palms, you're lengthening for three, here for two, and then release down on one. Press back to child's pose. We're here for five breaths, toes touch knees nice and wide, drop the hips back, hands still reaching forward, shoulders tracking down your spine. Take a moment here to breathe into every part of your body that needs it. So maybe you take an inventory of your body right here, checking your shoulders, checking the neck, checking your back muscles. And can you maybe sit deeper towards the heels? Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep a steady breath. Nice. One more full breath in, full breath out. Massage the head left and right for three, two, and one. Transition back up all fours. From here, separate your toes, tuck the palms underneath the shoulders, toes underneath you. Inhale, press back up, downward facing dog. 
Nice, and then walk your hands to the middle of your mat. So you're in an inverted V shape. Maybe your heels can get easier to get closer to the earth. Maybe it just feels a little more comfortable. And then from here, we're gonna pick up the left hand, take it towards the right ankle, drop the head, pull your right shoulder back, breathe in. You can even go for the thigh or for the calf. Nice, release the hand, switch it over, inhale. Exhale, grabbing the ankle, the calf, or even the thigh. Release the hand, walk it back all the way, forward fold at the back of your mat. Soften your knees, but transition your hips up, and then let go of your head, let go of your neck. We're gonna bring the hands behind the head, neck, and just a little bit of a sway. Keep your chin tucked in a lot. Hold here for three, two. Breath in. Release the hands down on one. Great, bring your hands behind your back. Maybe interlace using the opposite thumb. You tend to go for what's comfortable, go for what's uncomfortable for a moment, soften the elbows, and then drop the knuckles forward, drop the head down. Hold for three, weight to your toes, two. On one inhale, halfway lift, take your knuckles to your low back, lengthen your spine. Keep the weight to your toes, press your hips back, lengthen your back for three, two, on one fold, drop the head, knuckles up and over. Soften the elbows, soften the knees. That feels good. The back up, inhale, halfway lift. Crown of your head, shooting energy forward. Exhale, release the hands, drop the head, drop the neck. Walk your toes to touch, please. Tiny bit of a space between your heels, right? Tuck the chin in, roll yourself up. Let this feel good. To just stack your spine on purpose with complete intention to rise up and allowing the head, the crown of your head, the last thing to reach up. Amazing, take an inhale, shoulders up. Roll them forward and down. Inhale, shoulders up. Roll them back and down. Flip your palms wide open, ready to receive. Moving through our practice with consistency, take an inhale in. Breath out. Inhale, mountain pose, take up space, grow tall. Shoulders track down, fingertips slightly pointing towards one another, take another full breath in. Exhale, back bend, cactus the arms, open up the chest, push your hips forward for three. Nice, here for two, on one, press it back up, mountain pose. Exhale, wide arms, flat back, lunging forward, diving forward with your chest, releasing the hands, releasing the back. Inhale, halfway lift. Weight to your toes, back is flat, core in, stay with me, exhale, round and squat. To a tiny little ball, forehead to your knees, hold, take a breath in. Tippy toes getting a nice stretch, push down, lift up the heels, three, great, two, and on one, drop your head, heel, drop your head lift your hips. <laughs> Inhale, mountain pose, root down through your heels, take up space, grow tall, squeeze your inner thighs, exhale, back bend, cactus, open up the chest. <sighs> Inhale from your core, take it back up. Exhale, hands to heart center, this time forward fold. We're gonna release everything down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Exhale, walk your hands all the way to the top of your mat, come to a high plank. Keep the core and soften the elbows, crown of your head reaching forward for four. Nice, here, three, two. First time, chaturanga, bend your elbows halfway, lengthen, keeping the length in the crown of the head forward, heels back. Inhale, up dog, open up the chest. Pull your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, all the way back. Hips towards the sky. Nice, inhale from here. Exhale, walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. Toes touch, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, root down, squeeze the thighs, take up space. Exhale, back bend, cactus. Inhale, take it back up. Court in, hands to heart center, drop it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it forward, high plank. Shift forward, inhale, low plank, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Knees off the earth, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips all the way back up high. One breath in, breath out. 
Amazing. Inhale from here, right leg to the sky. Great. Flex the foot. Keep your hips rotated down. Press down through your left heel. Pull your left shoulder back. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Right knee to your left elbow. Twist. Holding for three. Keep it there for two. On one, kick it out. Straighten the leg, knife edge of the foot, and then rotate to the knife edge of the back foot. Inhale. Open it up for three. Great. Reaching up with your chest, two. And then on one hand, relax this down. Use a lot of strength from your core. Pick up your knee, take it back up. Right leg to the sky. Nice. Exhale to your left elbow. Hold for three, two, on one. Step it out. Runner's lunge. Hold for three. Nice. Heel for two. Press energy through your back heel on one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Use your obliques. Kick that right leg back up. Exhale from here, knee to nose. Round. Holding for three, flex or point your toes, whichever one, one, two, and on one, step it through. Great, once you step it through, drop to your back knee. Relax your back toe. Inhale from here, deep breath, arms up towards the sky, crescent moon. Nice, press down into your front heel, track the heel back, pull your shoulders down. Another inhale, another exhale. Beautiful, inhale to prepare, twist open on the right side. Next, fingertips super active. Shoulders down your back. Hold here for a breath. Stay for your breath out. Inhale, take it up. Nice modified. Pull that shoulder down your back. Inhale in, chest up. Exhale, twist it back. Keep the rooting down into the legs. Inhale, bring it through center. Exhale from here, half splits. Hands can reach down to the earth. Flex or point your toes. Just for three, core in. Lengthen your spine here for two. And then on one, shift it back forward. Coming into a low lunge, plant your palms, frame your front leg, tuck your back toe, pick up your back leg. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, come in with the right leg, also with the right hand towards the sky. On the exhale, we're gonna take that right hand towards the back of the room, rotate to the knife edge of your back foot, drop down with your hips a little bit, and then inhale, take it back up. Exhale, drop it back. Nice, one more time. Amazing, bring it back up. Exhale, hands release now. Back leg meets the front leg. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Bend your knees, reach your arms up high. Weight to your heels, pull your shoulders back. Core stays in. Hold for three. Sit lower, two. One more breath in. Airplane your arms. Keep that nice squeeze between your thighs for three, for two. On one, inhale to your tippy toes. Keep squeezing your inner thighs. Pull your hips back, shoulders back for three, two. Exhale, forward fold. Drop the head, drop the neck. Release the upper body. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step it back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing up, hips all the way up. Shoulders back, breath in, breath out. Nice, left leg to the sky. Same thing, hip pointing down, flex the foot, engage and push down your right heel. Shoulders back, breath in. Exhale, right, left knee to your right elbow, twist. Hold for three, keep the core in two. We're gonna straighten the leg on one. Flex the foot, point the knife edge into the earth, rotate to the knife edge of the back foot, Open it up. Push your hips up for three, two, chest up. Exhale, release it down. Use your core. Push it in. Right, left leg to the sky. Flex the foot, shoulders back. Nice. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Hold for three. Oblique work. Two, step it out on one. And then from here, runner's lunge. Keep it active just for three. Breathe out. Two. On one, push down, right left leg back up. Core engaged, pull your shoulders back, breath in. Knee to nose, flex or point, hold, three, two, and then on one, step it through. Amazing, drop to your back knee, take a full breath in. Rise up. Crescent moon, exhale, pull your shoulders back. Nice, energizing through your heel, tracking the heel back, Thigh engaged, core in, full breath. Savor your breath out. Inhale, twist open, left side. 
Great, shoulders down, still rooting down into your legs. Take an inhale, stay for the exhale. Whew. Nice, and then from here, take it up, exalt it. Nice little modified shoulder down your back, open up the chest for three, push down into your heel, the shaking is okay. Here for two, and then on one, twist it over. Inhale, bring it back up. Nice, on the exhale, half splits. Great, lift up the chest, we're holding here for three. Back, flat, two. And then on one, deep breath in, shift it forward. Beautiful, from here, plant the front hands to frame your front leg, tuck your back toe. Pick up your back toe, press the heels back. Keeping your right hand down, left hand to the sky again, breathe in. Exhale, rotate to the knife edge of the back foot, drop your hips down. Hand reaches back and then take it up and over, inhale. Exhale, drop it back. Last time. Amazing, bring it back up. Exhale, release it down. Nice, now from here, back leg meets your front leg. Toes touch, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Second set, inhale, chair pose. Sit back, reach your arms up high. Pull your shoulders back, keep the core in. Holding for three, two. Airplane plant your arms on one. Nice, keeping the weight towards the heels. Deep inhale here for three. Back two. On one to your tippy toes, bring it up. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs. Keep your core in, shoulders back, breath here. Exhale, hands to heart center, drop the heels, drop the head. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step it back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. And let's track it back, downward facing dog. Woo, take a breath here. Open mouth, exhale, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Nice, we'll move through, this time adding a little bit on. So inhale, right leg to the sky. Breath to movement, right knee, left elbow. Shh. Right leg to the sky. Right elbow. Shh. Right leg to the sky. Knee to nose. Shh. Step it through. Inhale, drop to your back knee, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Shh. Inhale, exalted. Back to your twist. Inhale through center. Exhale, frame your front leg, tuck your back toe, lift it up. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, drop your heel. Inhale, back up. Exhale, release the hand. Adding on, inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Full lunge, pull your shoulders down your back. Close your ribcage and then sit low into your front heel. Same thing with, we did with crescent moon. You're pulling down into the heel, tracking back. Hold for three, two, on one, warrior two, open it up. Great, so energize from the back leg, sit low into your front lunge, push your hips forward, and then open up the arms, holding for three. Breathe out, two, on one, deep breath in, flip your palms, shift forward, extended side angle, tilt the heart up high. Woo, hold for three. Press down with your hand, but also reach up with your other. So you're really trying to create this resistance in the middle for two. And then on one inhale, star, press up. Heels and toes out. Exhale, horse. Beautiful, hold it here, pulse it down. Four, three, two, one. Hold here, deep breath in, arms up. Exhale, sit low. Nice, now inhale, take it all the way up, star pose. Exhale, warrior two, adjust. Nice, and then from here, straighten your front leg. Tilt your hips back, reach forward. Nice, open up, triangle pose. Keep pushing from your back leg for three. Here for two. On one, we're gonna keep this leg as it is, just tilt your hips forward, reverse triangle for three. Keep the hand reaching down away from the knee. If you love the knee, maybe below the knee, maybe behind your back, two. And then on one from here, bend your front leg, bring your hands all the way down, coming into a lunge, step the back leg forward. Toes touch, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane your arms, come up to your tippy toes right away, hold for three. Squeeze here for two. On one, drop your heels, reach your arms up high, chair pose. Breathe. 
Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Come up to your tippy toes, open up the knees. Right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow. Gaze a few inches forward, shift forward. Maybe one toe up, and that's wherever you are. I'm okay with that. Maybe both legs up. Coming into a little bit of a crow, holding here for three. Nice, core in two. On one step or jump back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Another breath here, reset, reset, breathe it. Shoulders back, breath out. And maybe coming back to this idea, it's not about really just getting there. Sure, we're persisting, we're moving, we're getting through it, but it's about consistency. So we can maintain this. Take another inhale. Shoulders back. Beautiful, left leg to the sky. Breath to movement first. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, twist. Left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Beautiful, from your core, back up to your nose. Step it through. Great, deep breath in, drop to your back leg, relax the toe, inhale, crescent and move. Nice, exhale from here, twist open. Nice, inhale, exalted. Exhale, back to your twist. Inhale, to the front. Exhale, plant your palms, frame your front leg, pick up your back low, heel, press it back. Inhale, from here, reach your left hand up. Exhale, drop your heel back. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, drop the heel back. Beautiful, last time. Bring it up. Exhale, relax it down. From here, transitioning to crescent moon rise, the crescent lunge, sorry, rise all the way up. Sit low into your back knee, pull your shoulders down. Hips forward, core in, hold. Shaking is good, means some things are working. Breath out. Another inhale, please. Warrior two, right away, spin open through your back leg, push your hips down, sit low into your front lunge. Energize from the back hip to sit low. Take a full inhale. Sit for the exhale. Nice, inhale, flip the palms, shift it forward, forward, forward. Extend inside angle, open up the chest. So just as much as you're reaching down, you're reaching up for three. Heart open, two. And then on one inhale, press it up, star pose. Heels and toes out. Exhale, horse. A little bit of a sway, just three. Ooh, two. How are you doing? And last one. Take a breath and hold here, pulse it down. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, adjust front of the room, sit low. Hips underneath you, arms active. Another inhale, another exhale. From here, straighten the legs. Shift your upper body forward. Just your front leg, shift, 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 shift. And then exhale, triangle pose. Trigonasana, opening up again from the chest. Avoid pushing into the knee. Three, Two, we're gonna keep the legs as is on one, just the hips tilt forward and take it to reverse triangle. Shoulder down, same thing with the hand, maybe behind the back, maybe onto your thigh. Shoulder back for three, nice. Two, on one, we're gonna bend the knee, bring the arms forward, everything forward. Back leg meets the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Nice, inhale, chair pose, sit back, reach your arms up. Exhale, airplane your arms, come up to your tippy toes. Beautiful, inhale, arms up. Exhale from here, forward fold. Release the hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, come up to your tippy toes, open up the knees, right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow. Second set, gaze forward and shift. Hold, lift up, core in. Three, two, on one step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Back to downward facing dog. Amazing work, take an inhale please. Exhale out. Great, we'll move through one more time. Right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, or left elbow. Right leg to the sky. Now right elbow. Right leg to the sky. Two notes, step it through. Right away, crescent, rise. 
Exhale from here, warrior two. Nice, inhale, flip, shift forward, extend it. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, parallel, open the chest, flat back. Let's take it all the way down, release the head, the neck. Let go of the head, neck, and then for a moment, tuck your chin in, reach your hands through. As you walk them through, shift more weight to your toes. Let the crown of your head reach down. Two more breaths, please. Next exhale, walk your hands back. Coming to center on your inhale, open up your arms, rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the front of the room. Nice, inhale from here, flip your arms, straighten your legs, shift your upper body forward, Trigonasana. Inhale, reverse Trigonasana, reverse triangle. Exhale, bend your front leg, bring your palms down. This time, right leg back up towards the sky. Shift it forward, high plank, right heel pulses up. Eight, core in, seven, soften your elbows. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shot that on, and maybe float that right leg up. Inhale, up dog, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up high. Woo, let's take that left leg up, inhale. Left knee, right elbow. Left leg back up. Left elbow. Left leg back up, knee to nose. Step it through. Right away, crescent. Nice, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip, shift forward, extended. Inhale, stop. Exhale, horse. Inhale, back up to star. Exhale, parallel your feet, open up the chest. Wide, flat back, take it down. Drop the head, drop the neck. Walk your hands forward. One of my favorite things, favorite things to do. A little down dog with the arms. Pull your shoulders back. If you have any other variations you want to take, please do so. Everything is just a suggestion, yeah? More of a guide rather than an enforcer or anything. So feel free to find your own, own variations. Shoulders stay back. Neck walk. Two more breaths. Walk it back on your exhale. Inhale, open up your arms, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, adjust. Great, flip your palms, straighten your legs, shift it forward, trigonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle, hips forward, arm up. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Plant your palms. This time, left leg to the sky. Exhale, shift forward. Nice from here. Pulse it up. Up, soft the elbows. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Option to float with it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, take it back. Downward, facing dog. Amazing work. Stay with me. Take another full breath in, please. Shoulders back, breath out. One more time, move through. Right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, so step it through. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extended side angle. Exhale, twist. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale from here, reverse. Triangle right away. Exhale, shift it forward, plant your palms, bend your front leg. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, shift forward, coming to high plank, hold. From here, we tap it up. Right, in, right, and in. Six, five, four, three, two, one, chaturanga, or skip. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, left leg to the sky. Knee to nose, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge rise. Warrior two. Inhale, flip, shift forward, extended. 
Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, back to the star. Exhale, warrior two. Woo! Inhale, reverse. Right away, take it up. Exhale, window of the hands, bring it down, bend your front leg. Step the left leg behind you, take it up. Exhale, shift forward, high plank. From here, tap it out. And in. Eight. Seven. Six. Soften the elbows. Five. Woo! Four. Three. Yes. Two. Last one. Nice. Chaturanga. Inhale, up top. Exhale. Woo! Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Breath out. Amazing work. Shift forward, high plank. Hold for three, two. Lower to your belly on the one. Oh, oh. Nice. And then from here, deep breath in. Legs together, just like cobra. We're going to bring the hands behind the head. Tuck your chin in. Legs together. We're going to go reverse crunches. Elbows wide. Four, three, two. One. Hey, let it go. Press up onto your knees. Walk your knees forward. Swing your legs out in front of you. How are we doing, guys? Take a moment to check in with yourself. That how are you doing is for you. So check in what you need. We're more than halfway there. We got a little, if you will, focus core work. Because I kind of tricked you into a lot of core work as we were working. I don't know. Maybe you felt it. Maybe I didn't trick you at all. So we'll lower all the way down onto the back. As you lower down, let the head rest down, tuck your chin in, and then lift your arms up, lift your legs up. Next, we're gonna go inhale, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. Keep your low back down. Sorry, let that exhale come on the way in. Maybe you flex or point the feet. Eight more. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back in. Hands behind your head. Lift your shoulders. Twist. Center. Now definitely flex the feet. Let the elbow come up. Not the knee come in. Lift. Lift. Nice. Eight. Elbows wide. Seven. Six. Five, breathe it out. Three, two, hold on one. Hold, bring your arms out. Nice, straighten the legs, deep breath in. Reach your fingertips up, pulse it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch it over, legs up, lower your right leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ease it. Ah, breath in. Breath out. Keep your chin tucked in. Keep hugging your knees in. A little bit of a sway just for six. Five. Maybe circle your knees. Four. Maybe switch it over. Three. Two. Find stillness. Breathe in on one. Breathe out. Great. And then rock yourself forward and back. Let's meet in a seated position at the top of your mat. Great. Kick your right leg forward, left leg forward, and any fleshiness from underneath you. So first thing you're gonna do is cross your right heel over your left thigh. Everything is engaged. Flex, flex, take an inhale, reach your arms up. Shoulders down, exhale, up and over. So ideally the leg is straight, you're feeling a stretch through your hamstring, core in, back flat. If you can't touch your toes, grab for your calf, grab for your ankle. Really the idea is the leg is straight and we're really tuning into the hamstring, breathe in. Nice. If there's pain, step away from that. If there's discomfort, lean into that. Breath out. Nice. And then come back up. And then keep the heel. Bend your other leg under. So coming into double pigeon here, flex both legs. I want you to check in that there's a nice little triangle going on in the middle. And then maybe you take a block. Maybe you use um, some books. Or maybe you use nothing and just lean forward. Where the idea here is to keep everything super engaged. And then relax. Great. Keep the flex.
Three more breaths, please. your way back up slow and controlled Ooh, that felt good then pick up the leg pick up that right leg take it towards your bicep create a lift just a little bit of movement here for three just a little bit of movement for two and then i want to open it up and let it relax onto the floor straight leg two bring your left heel in towards your right thigh flex the foot just for a moment take a deep breath and reach your arms up and then face your body towards the front of the room drop your left hand take your right hand up and over so keep the flex in the leg big body stretch for three Nice here for two. And then on one, rotate both hands down towards the earth. Keep your shoulders back. Breathe and flex the foot. Breathe out. Inhale, let's take it all the way back up. And then rotate towards your toes. Soften your knee. Take it up and over. Let go of your upper body. Keep the chin tucked in. And hold. More breaths. Inhale, take it back up or in. Exhale, release the hands. Both legs towards the front of the room. Shake it out, bend it out, move any fleshiness. Yeah, and then we're gonna take the left heel, cross it over your right thigh. Flex the foot, engage the left leg. So working with the hamstring, inhale, reach your arm up, and then reach towards your toes, calf, ankle, whatever you want. But the idea is the leg is kind of straight, not necessarily straining it straight, maybe a micro bend in your knee, but you're feeling the stretch in your hamstring all the way to your glute. And then hinging forward, back flat, breath in. Flex, 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 breath out. One more time, please. Amazing, come back up. And then keep your left heel where it is, bend your right knee under. So coming into double pigeon, saying hello to the hips, flexing through both legs, checking that you've got that triangle going on in the middle. And then from here, when you're ready, if you feel like you wanna go there, drop it forward, elbows onto the block or elbows to the earth. Keep the flex, keep the engagement. Yeah, even I have to remind myself. <laughs> so we're all just trying to work on consistency. Drop the head in, tuck the chin in. Good friends, two more breaths. Take it back up. Woo, that's good. Cradle of the leg, bring it in towards your bicep. Hug it out, swing it out for three. Breathing through it two and then on one we're going to open it up towards the floor take your right heel in towards your left thigh first of all flex so again maybe a tiny micro bend inhale reach your arms up facing your chest towards the front of the room drop your right hand left hand goes up and over soften the elbow shoulder back breath in stay for the breath out nice inhale rotate both hands down towards the earth shoulders back inhale in stay for the exhale out Amazing, inhale, bring it all the way up. And then soften your knee, rotate towards it, and drop the head, drop the neck. And we're coming into a forward fold, dropping the forehead to the knee, folding it. Come back up friends, nice and controlled, arms overhead. Exhale, release, and then both legs open up wide. Nice, so shake them out. And then from here, I want you to think of your hips. Maybe this is a plate of soup, 
where your hip is at and then when you tilt that hip of soup forward you're tilting the hips a little bit forward in that same motion keep the flex if you want to soften the knees go for it and then drop the hands forward maybe right here is more than enough for you to feel that inner thigh engagement or maybe you can go down we're here for three breaths Amazing. Take yourself back up. Woo. And then legs together and towards the front of the room. Move any flashiness. Last time of core engagement, keeping the core and arms forward. Lower yourself all the way down onto your back. As you do, bring your right knee into your chest. Hold it here. Squeeze it to your right side body. Compress it in for an inhale. Stay for the breath out. Flex to your left leg. And again, inhaling through. Exhale, twist it over towards the left side. Stacking your hips on top of one another, and then drop the hands nice and wide. You can maybe have one hand on top of the thigh, giving you a little support here. Tuck the chin, neck gets a stretch. This beautiful, beautiful spinal twist from the bottom of your spine to the top of your spine. The more you let go, the more you're, you'll feel, right? Deepest breath here. Release breath out. On the next inhale, knees come back in towards your chest, both of them. And just re realigning your spine to the center of the mat and then pushing your knees in. You're massaging, neutralizing your back. Take another inhale. Exhale, let go of your right leg. Left knee compresses. Squeeze it, squeeze it to your left side body. Inhale in. Exhale out. Uh, feels good. Take another breath in. Exhale, twist it over towards the right side. And then stack your hips on top of one another. Same idea. Open up your arms, maybe one hand onto your thigh. Gazing in the opposite direction. And letting go. So you have that big twist from the base all the way to the crown. I mean, there's no spine up here, but maybe to the neck <laughs> to be more specific. Breath in. This breath here. Beautiful. Bring your knees back in. Stack your hips to center. Knees into your chest. And then let's take the happy baby legs up towards the sky. Grab through the outside or the inside. Just a little bit of a swing. And then from here, I encourage you to tune into what your body needs, right? So if you need stillness, if you need to stretch one leg at a time, if you need to go into a plow pose, for example, or maybe a quick shoulder stand, tune into what you need. If your knee stillness feels right, so holding here for five breaths. And wherever you are, five breaths. Nice and bring your legs in. Ooh. Give yourself a nice one more squeeze. Circle it out. Shimmy anything out. And then from here, we're going to compress. So bring your forehead up to your knees. Press it in for three. Compress it in for two. And then on the one, let it go. Final Shavasana. Take a moment to set yourself up. Spread your legs super wide, like you're letting go completely. And then Release any tension from your shoulders. Maybe shimmy your shoulders. Tuck your chest underneath you a little bit. Let the head, the neck be nice and long. Breathe in. 
on your exhale, let go, mentally, physically, emotionally. gently tune into the sounds around you, and the sound of my voice, take a breath in, and on your exhale, find a tiny bit of movement from the toes, fingers, extremities of the body, reach your arms over your head. Let's come together, toes point forward, big body stretch as you inhale. Exhale, knees come into your chest. Roll over to your right side. Create a little pillow with your hand. Sense of starting over, take a breath here. Left hand pushes down, inhale. Come up to a seat. Cross your ankles. Relax your shoulders, bring one hand to your heart, or both hands to your heart, thumbs to your heart, and take a breath together. Breath out. Thumbs come to your third eye, space where you know before you know, you feel inclined, bow forward. Namaste. So much gratitude for your movement and so much gratitude for showing up to your practice and I hope that resonated for you whether it's the physical movements or maybe the intention which is persistence is great and we need that but so often we forget that there's an extra layer which is consistency that helps us to stay there um, I see you I appreciate you I thank you have a wonderful week